In the last video, we saw the following values, which are approximately exponentially related. We have this table showing T and M, where M is the amount of medication in a patient's blood after T hours. Let's look at how to put this information into your calculator. When we want to deal with big lists of data in the calculator, the place we want to go is to the STAT menu. You can see the STAT menu. It's in the second row, third column. And the very first tab in our STAT menu lets us edit lists. So I'm going to pick Edit. Right, so my lists are just called L1, L2, L3. If I go further over to the right, I get more lists. I'm not going to worry about that now. So what I'm going to do with this information in this table is I'm going to enter my T values into L1 just by type the first number, hit enter, type the second number, hit enter, third number, hit enter, and so on. So now I have all of my values of t entered in list 1. I'm going to hit the right arrow key to get to list 2. And I'm going to enter all my values of m in list 2. It's really important that I get the values of t and the values of m in the same order, that I don't skip anything because the calculator is going to pair them up by looking at which numbers are in the same row. So first value of m, second, third, and so on. I'll move the calculator over so we can see that those last couple points are entered correctly. Okay. So now I have this information entered in the calculator. Okay, now what can I do with this? Well, one of the things that I can do is look at the scatter plot. I'm going to press second and then y equals. You see stat plot above y equals. So now I'm going to choose the first stat plot. By pressing left and right, I'm going to turn it on. For type, I'm going to choose this very first option with all the dots. For X list, I'm going to put L1. This is where I put T. For Y list, I'm going to put L2. This is where I put my M's. So we choose option 1 and we set the options like this. And now, before we look at the graph, we want to go to Zoom. So press the Zoom button. And we want to choose Zoom Stat. And here we see the scatter plot. And just like in the scatter plot we were looking at before, we see that this looks exponential. How can we get the calculator to tell us? what the exponential curve is. In order to do that, I'm going to go to STAT again, but now I'm going to arrow over to CALC. And now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose the command that says EXPREG. Um, notice that there's also a LINREG if you wanted to get the line of best fit, you could use that lin reg command. Now, expreg is going to take two inputs. They're the list that holds the independent variable and the list holding the dependent variable in that order. You notice the list numbers in blue above the numbers 1 through 6. So I'm going to say second 1 to get the first list, then press the comma, then second two to get the second list. Okay, now let's see what happens when I press enter. The calculator shows me 
three lines. This first line shows me the form of my equation. It tells me that there are going to be two numbers, a and b. And then it tells me what a is and what b is. Now, I need to know that, in fact, my independent variable is called t in this problem, and my dependent variable is called m. But then my equation, I'm going to just round my a and b. My equation is m equals this number a that I see, which is about 202, times this number b, which is about 0 0.792, to the teeth power. This equation is the best fitting exponential equation for these numbers. What do I mean by the best fitting exponential equation? If I enter this equation in my y equals, so 202 times 0 0.792 to the variable power, that graph goes right down the middle of my scatter plot. Okay, the last thing we need to do after we do this is to clean up the calculator, clear out all of the things we just did. And the reason to do this is that so that later on we don't see weird stuff when we're graphing. We're going to go to the stat menu again and choose 4, clear list. What list do we want to clear? Well, we want to clear list 1 and we want to clear list 2. This clears out all of the numbers that we typed in, all of our values of t and m. Now we'll click second y equals, choose number 1, and just set it to off. And then finally, we'll click y equals and just clear y1. Now second quit to get back to the main screen, and we've cleared out all of the things that we just set up.